Well, howdy folks. My name's Tony Thomas, and I'm back with you again here on YouTube. Going to show you some beginner's old-time banjo. I call it as easy as one, two, three. And today we're going to work on an old hymn called Amazing Grace. And I'll show you the chord pattern. You get, make sure your banjo is tuned in the open G tuning, which consists of, if you strum your banjo open, you're in a G. Perfect G. Oh, you count down one, two, three, four, five frets, and you bar it, you got a perfect C. You go down two more, which is six, seven frets, you bar it, you got a perfect D. Okay, your G, C, D. Then there's one other chord that I gotta show you, which you don't bar, it's called an E minor. It's a simple chord to make. You take your index finger, you note it, on your second fret, fourth string, and your middle finger, second fret, first string, you got a perfect E minor. Then you've got G, C, D, and E minor. And you can play this with picks or without picks. And we're going to go through it with you without the picks and we're going to show you a couple of little pick tricks here in a minute too that you might find beneficial to you but first we're going to start out with amazing grace open g amazing grace how sweet as you see the sound that saved a wretch like me there's your d Matter. was blind, but now I see. It was your D there. I'm going to call out the chords as I do this. Amazing grace, C, C, G, 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 D, G, 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 C, 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 E minor, E minor, B, G. There's your chords. Uh, I sung them out for you. <laughs> your chord changes. Okay, I told you I would show you some simple little techniques that you probably didn't know about. You can do this with picks too. I'm going to put on the finger picks and the old thumb pick. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this using your picks. And uh, like I said, this is very essential for you to learn this type of music for the simple reason you'll be learning how to play by ear. And that's something that you need to learn how to do is to play by ear if you're ever going to play with groups or play with bands or even to accompany yourself. I mean, tablature's good or reading music's fine. I've got nothing against it. But you need to learn how to play by ear if, you've, if you're ever going to play with bands or groups or whatever. Okay, I got the, the, the three picks on here, the thumb pick, and of course, I've got a pick on my index and one on my middle finger. Okay, amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. remember on that and when you come up was blind you hit that E minor there okay let me show you another little pick trick I call here a lot of people are not aware of this at all but it's very very easy to do I'm going to use the guitar pick or the plectrum pick it's a plectrum style what old time banjo players hit it was quite common years ago and it still is in some uh, types of music it's the plectrum style we're going to go over the plectrum style here with you Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Okay, I'm going to show you how to pick a little bit of melody here using the plectrum pick. It 
it's almost if I was using a three-finger roll using that plectrum style, which is a form of what they call cross picking. It's very easy to master. I hope you've picked up uh, something from what I'm uh, trying to get across to you, and I hope it uh, enhances your abilities. But anyway, I'll be back at a later date with more as easy as one, two, three beginner banjos uh, course. And God bless. Take care.